So Takashi69, as many people have predicted, has agreed to snitch according to the paperwork, the plea bargain. I've got some of the paperwork here and I will get to that in a minute. He has not snitched yet, but he has agreed to snitch. So pretty much everybody is saying this is a done deal. And also that because he's agreed to snitch, he's not going to do any more prison time once they let him out after he gets sentenced, prosecutor's going to recommend that they release him and he doesn't get served time for all these other charges with the nine trade bloods. We're going to get to this again in a minute. A lot of people jump into conclusions here very rapidly, as we've seen with all of the 6 9 breaking news. So let's examine this a bit more closely. Now, he has definitely entered a guilty plea agreeing to cooperate with various authorities. Now, what that means is he will be greenlit by the gang, the Bloods, and they will try to, what's called witness intimidation, go after his family members, you know, go after his loved ones, his closest people, and try and get him so screwed out of his mind that he won't snitch. If anyone watched that movie, The Godfather, they had that witness in the courtroom, Frankie Pentangeli, was about to testify against Don Corleone, and the Corleone crime family, they'd flown Frankie's brother, Vincenzo, over from Sicily. And when his brother showed up in the courtroom, Frankie's face just turned white and he realized he was breaking a murder and the consequences for that could fall on his family. So he completely about turned in the courtroom and refused to cooperate any further. So the question is now, how powerful are these Nine Trey Blood gangsters, what are they capable of in terms of frightening 6 9 and putting pressure and stress and threats on his family and loved ones? That's the kind of thing that we're going to see because if he has agreed to testify against these guys and looking at the charges, weapons charges, drugs charges, shooting at people to scare them, um, when you combine drugs and weapons together within a conspiracy, because you've got the weapons, it enhances and aggravates the sentence lengths for these people. So, you know, these guys could get life sentences and Takashi's statements to the feds could contribute them being buried alive in the prison system. Now, these gangsters aren't just going to take that laying down. I mean, look at Sammy the Bull Gravano. He was my competitor in the ecstasy market. The day he was arrested, the Gotti hitmen were in Phoenix, Arizona. They'd been in Phoenix, Arizona with a bomb, with surveillance equipment, watching Sammy the Bull, and they were going to blow his ass into Kingdom Come, take him out. Because he got arrested, his life was actually saved. Look at Whitey Bulger. When, you, when your word puts people away for life's sentences, multiple life sentences, multiple people, you know, the gangster community is not going to take this lying down. How is he ever going to do a gig again? How is he going to get out in public and sell tickets and everyone's going to know where he's going to be on that night without some hit team showing up to try to take him out? So this is where now the intimidation begins. This gang will have green lit him already, not just him, because he's protected right now in, the, in custody. They're going to go after the weakest links to him, the people he's most sensitive about, his family and friends. That will be the reaction of the underworld. Now, Takashi, you know, the feds don't give a shit about him, his life. They basically said to him, you're going to get a minimum of 47 years or life unless you snitch. 
Now, as soon as he becomes a snitch, he's a target. He could possibly die, his family could possibly die, but the feds don't give a shit. All the feds care about is having a high profile witness and this big case, they're jizzing all over themselves right now, the feds, because they got such a high profile witness, you know, this hugely famous guy. And um, basically, Takashi and his entire family would have to go into witness protection for the rest of their lives if they wanted to be shielded from a green light from the blood gang that could potentially be coming after, after them. And I believe that word will already be on the street that something's got to be done to try and stop Takashi from taking the stand. So, I will read you specifically now the paperwork. This is the court now addressing Takashi. Do you understand that the agreement provides that you must cooperate fully with the Office of the United States Attorney, New York City Police Department, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, Explosives, United States Department of Homeland Security, Homeland Security Investigations, and any other law enforcement agency designated by the United States Attorney. So Takashi says, yes, your honor. Do you understand that the agreement does not bind any federal, state, or local prosecuting authority other than the United States Attorney? Yes, your honor. Do you understand that the agreement provides that if the United States Attorney determines that you have provided substantial assistance in an investigation or prosecution, if you have fully complied with the understanding specified in the agreement, that the United States Attorney will file a motion under Section 5K1.1 of the Sentencing Guidelines and Section blah blah blah, requesting that the court sentence you in light of the factors set forth in Section 5K1.1. Yes, Your Honour. All right, and do you understand that the factors the court could then consider include the significance and usefulness of your assistance, taking into consideration the government's evaluation of the assistance you rendered, the truthfulness, completeness, reliability of any information or testimony provided, the nature and extent of your assistance, any injury suffered or any danger or risk of injury to you, your family as a result of your assistance. Yeah, I like they care about him and his family. He's just a pawn in the justice system right now. And the timeliness of your assistance. Yes, Your Honour. And do you understand that even if the United States Attorney file such a motion that the sentence to be imposed on you remains within the sole discretion of the court. Yes, Your Honour. And do you understand you will not be entitled to withdraw your plea even if the government doesn't make that motion or if the government makes the motion and the court denies the motion. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honour. Do you understand that regardless of the position that the government takes at sentencing, the court is free to impose whatever sentence the court believes is appropriate under the circumstances and the applicable law and you have no right to withdraw your plea if you're unhappy with the sentence. Okay, so basically a lot of people right now online are saying Takashi has snitched, he's going to get off once this all goes down at the beginning of next year, he's going to, he's going to get off with um, time served, he's going to be a free man and it's a done deal. But according to this paperwork, he is locked into this plea bargain and the judge is saying that no matter what the United States Attorney has agreed with Takashi's attorney, the judge at the end of the day has discretion to do whatever he wants to Takashi. He can sentence him above or below whatever the prosecutor in the case is recommending. Let's continue. Do you understand that if the United States Attorney determines that you've not provided substantial assistance in the investigation or prosecution, the U.S. Attorney is not obligated to file a motion for the sentencing guidelines section? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand again that you will not be entitled to withdraw your guilty plea, even if the United States Attorney decides not to file that motion? So... People are simplifying it online, that's what I'm saying. And again, these things are far more complex than the media reports. A 
anything can happen right now. It's open season on Takashi right now with the gangsters on him and his family members. And if he does agree to cooperate and these guys get life sentences, is he then going to go into witness protection? The Fed's going to protect him for the rest of his life and his family? Or is he going to be out doing gigs where a hitman could take him out? Alright, let me just, just read a bit more of this. This agreement, the defendant agrees to please guilty to counts 1 through 9 of the superseding information. As detailed by your honour, these crimes carry a maximum sentence of incarceration of life with a minimum mandatory of 47 years. Because Takashi ordered a guy to shoot at a guy, got the guns as well as the, the drug conspiracy. I mean, these charges are so serious. I don't think he's just going to walk right out of jail that easily. But hey, you know, he's got the money, he's got the lawyers, and I've said all along in America, you get what justice you can afford. So is this going to show that you can just basically buy your way out of these situations? All right, reading a bit more. The court, this is. Do you understand that if your attorney or anyone else has attempted to predict what your sentence will be, so every news agency right now, every um, everyone commenting on this is predicting it. The court is now specifying that anyone who's attempted to predict this, even your attorney, their prediction could be wrong. Because the judge, at the end of the day, is the one that can do whatever he wants. There's a saying in America, your sentence is determined by what the judge had for breakfast. Yeah, that's how subjective this can be. No one, not your attorney, not the government's attorney, no one can give you any assurance what your sentence will be. Because I'm going to decide your sentence and I'm not going to do that now and I really can't do that now. Instead, I'm going to wait until I receive a pre-sentence report from the probation department. I'm going to wait until I receive what I'm sure will be a thoughtful sentencing submission by the government and the defence. I'm going to do my own independent calculation of what the sentencing guidelines recommend in your case, but most of all I'm going to determine what a reasonable sentence is for you based on all the factors contained in the sentencing statute known as section 3553. So, pre-sentence report from the probation department. I had to do one of them. I was actually diagnosed as bipolar. They brought an expert in. And that is a mitigating circumstance. Like I said in previous videos, mitigating circumstances are things that reduce your sentence or sentence range. Aggravating circumstances, using weapons in drug crimes, for example, increase it. Now, Takashi saw his stepfather die, bleed out, you know, when he was a kid. And suffered PTSD from that. And it's in the court docs that, you know, Takashi has been diagnosed with certain things over the years. So these could be used as mitigating circumstances that the judge will consider. I'm sure the judge is going to consider the fact that, that his, he, he watched his dad, his stepdad bleed out. Because that's, that's, um, that's going to stay with someone for the rest of their lives. Yeah, that's really sad. So... Nothing is guaranteed yet. He still has not snitched, technically. He has just agreed to snitch. I believe there is now a green light on him and his loved ones. And if he does snitch and put these guys away for life sentences, you know, people are going to be coming after him for the rest of his life. He could end up like Whitey Bulger down the road. Someone just takes him out. Could end up like Sam in the Bull, you know, living in fear for the rest of his life that the Gotti crew, the Gambino crime family, are going to come and get him. So, if he thinks he could just dip into that gangster lifestyle and snitch out all of his homies and walk scot-free out of this and live happily ever after, Takashi 6 9 is in a dreamland. The feds don't give a shit about his life. He's just an expendable pawn in the games that these prosecutors play right now. And this is going to get real ugly and real messy. That's what I predict. Things are going to happen out of the blue 
that some people aren't expecting. If you've got any more questions on Takashi69, put them in the description box below. I mean, in the comments below. In the description box below, my new talks that are coming up. I've now got confirmed talks in Bristol, Brighton, Cardiff, in South Wales, coming up in March. £12 tickets just went on sale. I've got four, possibly five new podcast guests lined up. Filming tomorrow with the prison guard and the Scottish guy who is the bank robber. Um, almost $10 million robbery that went wrong. He's been in 18 different prisons. I think he served about 12 years. And I'm reading this prison guard's book, man, some of the stories. <sighs> There's a fight story with this one prisoner against all the guards and the prisoners beating their asses. It absolutely blew my mind, so I'm thinking about starting out the podcast with that one. So, I uh, appreciate all your love and support of Wildman. If you, on my video about reaching 150,000 subs, I put the comments on today on the people who commented who've won a free book. So go back and check there. Um, if you got, you know, people got anywhere from 20 to 100 likes in that zone, they're the ones who, who won the books. So, appreciate all of your love and support of the channel. Looking forward to getting these long podcasts online here soon. Take care out there. Cheers.